Hey everyone, it's Hannah here and thanks for coming to my channel. So if you click this video, it's because you want to know how I got rid of my acne scars at home. So before we get into this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I do post new videos here every week. Also go ahead and follow me on Instagram at the Hannah Ali because I'm always on Instagram if not here on YouTube. And without further ado, you guys, I know if you clicked on this video, you're really desperate or you're just really fed up of dealing with your acne scars i'm on the same page with you i also deal with acne scars and i have been but i'm here to tell you you're not alone i just wanted to come in here and share with you guys I, I think i've definitely stumbled upon something that has worked for me and i wanted to share with you so let's get into this video i've definitely been dealing with acne scars since i can remember and the craziest thing is i never even really picked my acne to the point of why I should have so many scars. Be it as in me, I went to so many dermatologists, whatnot, they gave me medication, my acne went away as I was getting well, as I was getting closer to turning 18. So now I don't really deal with much acne. The only time I break out is when, you know, I'm about to go on my period. So that's you know, I'll have hormonal acne acne but besides that i really don't deal with acne anymore which is really really great the only thing i'm left with is i'm left with scarring you can definitely see i know with lighting it gets a little blurred but i'll make sure to do close up but as you can see on the side i do you can see some of the scarring on this side and some right here as well but i do have quite a bit of pitted scars right here so i have two types of acne scarring i have pitted scars and i have box scars so the box one i have a few right here is one and then i have a few right here on my temples and then the rest is the acne pitted scars however what you're seeing right now and i do have makeup on but what you're seeing right now my scarring used to be so much worse than this this is the nicest my skin has been and i know i've been posting a lot of videos in the past couple months weeks posting a lot of instagram stories instagram pictures everyone's like henna your skin looks so much smoother what are you doing and i'm gonna tell you there's no topical cream that i've used or anything like that fade away the scars there's no like cream product you can use for that so i have gotten microneedling done professionally twice maybe three i would say three years ago and i did see an improvement there however I stopped it, I think it was like $300 per session okay but I won't go too much into detail about that I'll get straight to the point on what I've been using at home to help me get rid of my acne scars and fade them away and lo and behold it is this baby right here I want to make it very clear right now that this video is no way sponsored I actually stumbled upon banish on YouTube myself I saw someone talking about it and I was like "Ooh, let me look into it so it is an at-home microneedling device. Now I do have some info in front of me because I wanted to make sure I give you guys the correct information instead of just going off of what I think or what's on my head. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have seen derma rollers all over Instagram, YouTube, all over social media. And I used to see those too. And when I got my microneedling professionally done, I remember she told me that the derma rollers are not good. Don't do it. You don't want to touch it. So I was like, okay, that's it. So when I did stumble upon Banish, I was a little scared just because, you know, the, the person I went to that I got my microneedling done, they were like, no, you don't want to do at-home microneedling. But she was specifically talking about the derma roller. At, this, at that time, I don't think this existed. I think this was pretty recent for Banish to come out, even though I'm not 100% positive. But I know at that time when I did my microneedling, derma rollers were just coming out and they were getting really big. I was really skeptical about this. I'm not going to lie to you guys. There's no reason for me to lie just because I've been dealing with scarring for so long. And I, would, I, I used to get so frustrated when people would just recommend these products and creams to me and nothing worked so i don't want i want to make it very clear that i'm sharing this with you guys because i've seen a difference in my skin that's the only reason i'm coming on here and talking about it and i know how much it sucks to have acne scarring i've gone down rabbit holes trying to figure out what to do to help get rid of my scarring or at least help fade it away so that's why i wanted to come and talk about banisher so I have some information in front of me. I can go just kind of read what's here and then I can show you a quick demo of how to do this at home yourself. And I'm gonna show you guys some before and after pictures because I think that's also really important to show you guys as well. So let's read this. So if you didn't know, if so you guys know about microneedling, it's taking little needles. This one I think is 1.5 millimeters or something. I'm not 100% positive. Let me double check. But it's taking these little needles and you're creating controlled little punctured wounds. And you, the reason you're doing this is because you want to 
It's to promote collagen production, elasticity in the skin, and just to really help fill in those scars that are there. Now this is the Banisher 2.0. They have an original one called Banisher, but the reason, the difference between the Banisher and this one is this one has a 24 karat gold plated titanium bristles. They're supposed to last longer. You can get more uses out of this. And because of the 24 karat plated titanium bristles, it's supposed to be a lot finer and sharper the bristles. So it's creating less irritation in the skin. All right guys, so as you can see right here, this little twist off cap, it's supposed to be a great way to store the bristles and make sure they stay good and clean and last, you know, as long as they're supposed to. But this also acts as a little container to fill up with alcohol and to sanitize your banisher because sanitization is very, very important. You want it to make it a sterile, you know, because the dermal rollers, I always see people just going and using it and it's like you're putting bacteria back and forth but this is used so you can sterilize the banisher which is really really nice the skin benefits straight off of the banisher's website and here it says it improves the appearance of acne scars dark marks fine lines and wrinkles by naturally promoting skin renewal like I mentioned before and it increases the effectiveness of topical skin care all right I also have how to use it on here so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a quick demo and kind of explain to you along the way of what I'm doing and yeah all right before starting your microneedling you want to make sure to go ahead to sterilize your banisher with rubbing alcohol taking the twist cap off you're going to want to fill the cap with rubbing alcohol up to the fill line which it indicates right here i don't know if you can see that and you're going to put the banisher back in there and twist and close and let it sit in there for about two to three minutes just to give it enough time to sterilize after those two to three minutes are up go ahead and take it out of the cup and let it air dry for another couple two to three minutes before you go ahead and get ready to apply pressure on the skin so i did speed up this video a little bit but what you're going to do is you're going to take the banisher you're going to press it four to five times on each area you're going to lift the banisher up and rotate the banisher about 90 degrees before each time you press down so you press down one lift turn press again lift turn press again lift turn press again so four times and I know I did speed it up a little bit here, but you want to light, lightly press the banisher on the skin. You don't want to push it too hard, which is why I'm holding it from the tip top so I have the lightest amount of pressure on the banisher. Also, please do not twist or rotate the banisher while it's still on your skin. The whole point is supposed to be a stamping motion. So you want to make sure to lift up and then move forward to your next area and then start doing it there. Do now you can go ahead and use the banisher uh, for about once a week you don't want to do it any more than once in a week because you want to give your skin enough time to let it heal and do its work because if you just keep going in every day you're not giving your skin the chance to heal and do what it's supposed to do so once a week is great i actually started it when I first did it, I did it once every two weeks because I was just a little scared. Now, however, I do use this once a week. The day I'm going to do my banisher, I don't. I tend to keep my skincare at a very minimum at night. And by the way, I do recommend, if you're going to use the banisher, I do recommend doing it at night before your nighttime skin routine because you do want to avoid try being in the sun. You don't want any sun exposure when you do this because you are creating little wounds on the skin punctures on the skin so I would recommend doing this right before your nighttime skincare routine so you can kind of sleep with it and not worry about being exposed to sun that day you do do this you want to keep your nighttime skin routine to a minimum I just do this I cleanse my face I go ahead with the banisher I finish up and then you can just go honestly you can go ahead and just apply moisturizer and call it a night however for me I've to my preference what I do is I go in with the, my vitamin C serum and then I go in with my nighttime moisturizer and that's it I leave it at that the next morning I also try to keep it simple I don't use some of my other serums that I normally do I'll wake up I'll clean my face I use my moist my vitamin C serum again my moisturizer and some SPF but you want to keep your skincare routine at the very minimum when you do use this that day the next day you can go back to normal you can apply makeup whatever it may be but the day of you doing this you want to avoid applying makeup and like I which is why I recommend doing this at night do this at night, do your very minimum skin routine, and go to bed with it, and the next day you should be good. Now I do want to make a disclaimer before using anything like this. Go ahead and do a patch test or even speak to your dermatologist or your esthetician and see 
if this is something you should do. Just want to make that very clear. Consulting with your dermatologist or your esthetician because you want to make sure if you're using something, it is your skin, it is your face. So make sure you don't just go in without doing your research or going in in consultation. All right, guys, so I know this is probably the part you really want me to just get into, and that is the before and after. I'm gonna go ahead and pop up the first image, the main image I'm gonna be using as the before, and that's one I right before I started this. So my really problematic side of my face is this one right here on this, my left side. So I took a picture of my left side, and that's right before I started doing at-home microneedling with the Banisher 2.0. That's what this side of my cheek looked like. The other picture is showing a month later. So this is just a one month before and after, which is insane on how big of it, how much it already improved in just a month. Now this next image I'm about to show you, again, I'm gonna keep the same before picture because that is where I started. The next image, this is where my skin is at three months later, which is where I'm at right now. And guys, I am just so incredibly happy. It's I, And it's been a while since I've actually saw that before picture and to see what it looks like now, I'm so, so happy with the way it looks. And obviously, you know, microneedling, either it be in office or even using this banisher, if you do choose to use it at home, of course, make sure you get your consultation and find out before you do anything. But just seeing that, much of improvement in three months is so encouraging and so exciting for me because scarring is something that is definitely going to take a lot of time to help fade away and sometimes it doesn't completely go away but to do something to fade it away and make my skin so much smoother and just visibly clearer um, I was shocked that I saw such an improvement in just three months and I'm, I cannot wait to see where I'm at. Alright guys so if you do want to check this out I'll go ahead and make sure to put the link down below if you guys want to check out the Banisher 2.0, I went ahead and picked the 2.0 just because I saw that it lasts longer and I want it to be a better bang for my buck. Now this does retail for $69, so it is a little bit more on the pricier side, but you have to look at it as you're investing in your skin. So, and of course skin is a luxury, but for me personally, I don't mind investing in my skin because at the end of the day for me, especially with what I do, I feel like I would really, really want my skin to improve. Again, this video is not sponsored at all. And when I found this, I found it through another YouTuber and I used their coupon code to buy it. And it's just crazy enough that Banish wanted to go ahead and give me a coupon code because I had shared with them my one month results and they were like hey if you want to share it with you know if with your friends or family or if anyone on your youtube channel you can go ahead and give them a code as well so banish was kind enough to give me a code for you guys to get five dollars off all you have to do is apply the code the henna t-h-e-h-e-n-n-a and you'll get five dollars off if you off of anything you purchase from banish they also have a starter kit with product like their own vitamin c uh, vitamin c serum moisturizer for me however i already have my own skincare regimen so i didn't really care for picking up their other products i was more specifically interested in picking up their banisher but my coupon code does work on their whole website so you can get five dollars off if you use the code the henna and of course you don't have to use it if you don't want to use my code you don't have to you could just buy it regular price or you can use someone else's code i just i'm so happy again that i've stumbled upon this because my skin just looks so much better when i apply makeup i feel more confident i feel more excited to do my makeup now i mean i've always loved makeup and everything but just to see how much smoother my skin looks but all right you guys that is it for this video i hope i could be as much as help as possible this video i really just wanted to come on here and share something that worked for me and i know acne scarring is a struggle so and not only acne scarring you can use this on fine lines stretch marks you name it but acne scarring is just something i'm so passionate about because it's definitely it's been a big part of my life as much as we don't want to talk about it acne and acne scars can be really influential in your life so i really wanted to share this with you guys and i hope you guys take this video and it's helpful all right guys make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because i do post new videos here every week follow me on instagram at the hana ali because i'm always on instagram if not here on youtube and go ahead and comment down below and let me know what you've been if you suffer with acne scarring what have you been trying or things you've been doing to help with it because i really love to know if maybe if there's something else that you've tried or if you're thinking about trying the banisher let me know down in the comments below i'd love to talk to you guys but all right i will see you guys in the next video bye guys